The Taipei Metro, also known as the MRT, Mass Rapid Transit, has undergone significant evolution since its inception in 1996. Let's explore the timeline of the Taipei Metro's development from 1996 to its projected expansion plans for 2030, highlighting key milestones, distance expansions, and notable station names along the way. 1996 marked the inauguration of the Taipei Metro with the opening of the first line, the Tamsui Line, Red Line. The initial section covered a distance of 10.5 kilometers, connecting the districts of Tamsui and Zhongshan. The line consisted of 11 stations, including key stations such as Tamsui, Hongshulin, and Xilin. In 1997, the Wenhu Line, Brown Line, was opened, expanding the metro network further. The Wenhu Line covered a distance of 11.5 kilometers, connecting Zhongshan to Taipei Zoo. This line featured stations like Songshan Airport, Zhongxiao Fuxing, and Taipei 101 World Trade Center, catering to important landmarks and transportation hubs in Taipei. The following year, in 1998, the Bangkiao Line, Blue Line, was introduced, extending the Taipei Metro to the western part of the city. This line covered a distance of 12.9 kilometers, connecting Xinpu and Tucheng, and included stations such as Fuzhong, Jiangzikui, and Bangkiao. With the addition of the Bangqiao Line, the Taipei Metro network became more extensive and provided enhanced connectivity for residents and commuters. In 2000, the Muja Line, Green Line, commenced operations, serving the southeastern districts of Taipei. This line covered a distance of 8.5 kilometers, connecting Taipei Zoo to Muja. The Muja Line featured stations like Wanfeng Hospital, Gongguan, and Taipei Nangang Exhibition Center, catering to the needs of residents and visitors in these areas. As the Taipei Metro gained popularity and became an integral part of the city's transportation system, further expansions were planned. In 2001, the Nangang Line, Blue Line opened, extending the Bangqiao Line to the eastern district of Nangang. This line covered a distance of 12.9 kilometers and included stations like Huzhou, Nangang Software Park, and Taipei Nangang Exhibition Center, the Nangang Line served as a crucial link, connecting the eastern part of Taipei with other major areas of the city. In 2002, the opening of the Tamsui Jinyi Line, the Red Line, marked a major milestone for the Taipei Metro. This line, covering a distance of approximately 25.7 kilometers, connected the districts of Tamsui and Xinyi, passing through important stations such as Xilin, Zhongshan, and Taipei Main Station. The Tamsui Xinyi Line provided improved access to cultural attractions, shopping centers, and business districts, catering to the needs of both residents and tourists. The same year also saw the opening of the first phase of the Muja Line, Brown Line, connecting Taipei Zoo to Zhongshan Junior High School. This initial stretch of the Muja Line covered a distance of approximately 6.4 kilometers, offering convenient transportation to popular destinations like Mao Kong, a renowned tea-growing area with stunning scenic views. In 2003, the Nangang Line Blue Line was extended to Nangang Exhibition Center, serving the growing business and exhibition hub in the Nangang District. This extension added approximately 2.4 kilometers to the line, facilitating transportation for visitors attending exhibitions, conferences, and events at the Nangang Exhibition Center. The expansion continued in 2004 when the Zindian Line, Green Line, was extended to Zindian District Government Station, adding around 1.6 kilometers to the line. This extension enhanced connectivity to the Zindian District, known for its picturesque scenery, riverside parks, and cultural attractions. In 2006, the Xinjuang Line, Orange Line, underwent an extension from Huilong to Luzhou, covering an additional distance of approximately 6.5 kilometers. This extension brought the metro network closer to the bustling district of Lujo, improving accessibility for residents and visitors alike. Another notable development during this period was the opening of the Maokong Gondola in 2007. Although not a part of the metro system per se, the Maokong Gondola became integrated with the Taipei Metro, allowing passengers to seamlessly transfer between the gondola and the metro network. The gondola provided a unique mode of transportation to the scenic Mao Kong area, renowned for its tea plantations, hiking trails, and panoramic views of Taipei City. In 2008, the Songshan Line, Green Line, officially commenced operations, connecting Ximen and Songshan District. 
This line covered a distance of approximately 8.5 kilometers and included key stations such as Zhongxiao Xinsheng, Taipei Arena, and Songshan. The Songshan line significantly improved transportation options for residents and visitors, connecting them to important cultural, recreational, and commercial hubs. In 2009, the Xinjiang Line, Blue Line, commenced operations, expanding the metro network to the southwestern districts of Taipei. This line covered a distance of 20.7 kilometers, connecting Huilong and Nanshijiao. The Xinjiang Line featured stations such as Dingxi, Guding, and Taipei Main Station, serving as important transfer points for commuters traveling between different lines. In 2011, the Songshan Line, Green Line, opened further enhancing the connectivity of the Taipei Metro. This line covered a distance of 8.5 kilometers, connecting Songshan and Zindian. Stations like Taipei Arena, Zhongshan Junior High School, and Jingmei served as important access points for various facilities and residential areas. In recent years, the Taipei Metro has continued to expand and improve its services. In 2017, the Wanda Zhonghe Shulin Line, Green Line, was introduced, connecting Taipei City with New Taipei City. This line covered a distance of 20.3 kilometers and included stations like Wanda Studios, Bankiao, and Jingan. Looking ahead to the future, the Taipei Metro has ambitious expansion plans to further develop the metro network by 2030. These plans aim to improve connectivity, alleviate congestion, and cater to the growing transportation needs of Taipei's residents and visitors. By 2023, the circular line, yellow line, is scheduled to open, encircling the central part of Taipei. This line will cover a distance of approximately 15.4 kilometers and will include key stations such as Songshan Airport, Don Park, and Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall. The circular line will provide convenient access to major cultural, commercial, and residential areas within the city. In the following years, the Taipei Metro has outlined several expansion projects. By 2025, the Wanda Ruifang Line, Orange Line, is planned to open, connecting Taipei City with the scenic northeastern coastal area. This line will cover a distance of approximately 42.7 kilometers, featuring stations like Jufen, Keelung, and Fulong. The Wanda Ruifang Line will provide easier access to popular tourist destinations and improve transportation options for residents in the region. Additionally, the Xinyi Line, Purple Line, is set to expand by 2025, extending from Xiangshan to Dapinglin. This extension will cover a distance of approximately 3.9 kilometers and will include stations such as Taipei 101 World Trade Center and Xinyi Anhe. The expansion of the Xinyi Line will enhance connectivity within the bustling commercial district of Xinyi and improve accessibility to major shopping, entertainment, and business areas. Furthermore, the Luzhou Line, Light Blue Line, is planned to open by 2026, connecting Luzhou with the existing metro network. This line will cover a distance of approximately 7.7 .7 kilometers, featuring stations such as Sanhei Junior High School, St. Ignatius High School, and Danfeng. The Luzhou Line will provide residents in the Luzhou area with convenient access to other parts of the city and facilitate commuting for commuters traveling to nearby industrial zones. In addition to these major expansion projects, there are plans for further extensions and improvements to existing lines. These include extensions to the Xinzhuang Line, the Songshan Line, and the Nanggang Line, as well as the integration of the existing Mao Kong Gondola into the metro network. These developments will increase the coverage and accessibility of the Taipei Metro, making it a more comprehensive and efficient transportation system. By 2030, with the completion of these expansion projects, the Taipei Metro Network is projected to encompass a sprawling distance of over 250 kilometers, serving numerous districts and neighborhoods throughout Taipei City and New Taipei City. The extensive Metro Network will offer seamless connectivity, reduce travel times, and provide commuters with a sustainable and reliable transportation option. With its modern infrastructure, efficient operations, and commitment to continuous improvement, the Taipei Metro will continue to evolve and adapt to meet the growing needs of Taipei's dynamic urban landscape, ensuring that residents and visitors can enjoy a convenient, comfortable, and eco-friendly commuting experience for years to come.